Imagine this, you are experiencing the most incredible sunset or boat trip and can instantly share it with your friends back home. Mobile data while traveling is just amazing. Whether you need to find directions, discover the best local spots to eat, translate menus or simply post amazing photos on Instagram, mobile data makes life so much easier and fun. Remember the times when we had to buy physical SIM cards when entering a new country? After a long flight, you had to hunt down SIM card sellers at the airport, join the long lines with thousands of other travelers and register a new SIM card. It was always super stressful when they removed my phone's protection to insert a new SIM card. Plus, I had to keep my old SIM card safe. I'm sure if I've searched my bag now, we'll find a few random ones. It was such a frustrating task at the airport, but yeah, you just had to do it. However, those days are behind us. Nowadays, there is a much smarter solution for mobile data, electronic SIM cards or eSIMs. Instead of dealing with a physical SIM card that you must insert into your phone, an eSIM is built onto your phone as a software. No physical card, no hassle, it's a lifesaver. We used the eSIM for the first time on our trip to Japan and it was amazing. Arriving in Japan was overwhelming since we couldn't read any signs and we were completely dependent on our phones. Having mobile internet as soon as you arrive makes traveling so much easier. Really, in Japan, we relied on mobile internet every day, all day. And because of this convenience, it turned out to be the best trip of our lives. Ready to use an eSIM? Luckily, almost all new phones have this specific software to use an eSIM. There's a long list, I'm not going to mention them one by one, but we will put a link in the description to this list. For your eSIM to work on your smartphone, your phone needs to be unlocked, allowing you to use mobile data from any network. An unlocked phone is essential for using an eSIM. If you are unsure whether your phone is unlocked, just contact your provider. They can help you with that and search for you. We have used eSIMs from the USIMS app. Before arriving in Japan, we purchased an eSIM plan through the app. And today I will show you how we choose the plan installed the eSIM and managed it at our destination. Okay, we got the app now on our phones. Let's check it out. They have this really bright red colored logo, so it's not hard to find. And as soon as you click on it, you see that you have one GB of free data for the Europe and USA. Let's check that out later. First, I want to show you the app itself, because if you go to the homepage, you will see three options under data packages, and that is top destinations, countries and regions. Top destinations is, yeah, these are the countries where the most people buy a package from. At the countries, you see a really long list with all the countries where they have a package from. And I truly believe this might be all the countries of the world. I'm just checking, like, is there any country which I cannot find? But really, Slovakia, Switzerland, Trinidad and Tobago. Now, everything you can think of. And there's also a third option, and that is regions. Under regions, you can see, for example, Europe or North America. And it means that if you travel to Europe and you visit more countries, you can click on Europe and check which countries are valid under this package. And as soon as you click on it, you can also see how much it is to buy GBs and until when it's valid. And if I click on 10 GBs, the price is obviously going up. 15 GBs, 20 GBs, now <laughs> everything is possible. And when you think now, I want to have 20 GBs valid until the 30th of May, for in this case, then we click confirm and I can pay. I can pay through credit card or Apple Pay if you have an iPhone. And yeah, you just fill in the information and then you can click pay. And it might be that when you open the app for the first time, you get this pop-up to activate your eSIM. I didn't activate it the first time because I first wanted to show you the app. And then you type in your phone number, your current phone number. Yep, and then you get an activation code through WhatsApp or SMS. Oh, kijk, it already shows up. That's perfect. So let's do that. So we get a pop-up from our phone if we want to activate the eSIM and we click on allow and here you go. Now the eSIM is activating and this can take five minutes, but I think for us it will be quicker. Yes, the eSIM plan is almost ready to be used. Probably this screen is different for every phone. Oh yeah, here, activated. No, that was pretty quick. Mobile plan setup complete. And now you have to choose if you want to use the mobile data from your current provider or from your new eSIM. 
And for us, that new one is now called secondary. So we choose secondary for default line. For iMessage and FaceTime, we also choose secondary. And for mobile data, of course, also secondary. And it's a success, or eSIM is activated. And now you should go to your mobile phone settings. And I know this page under your settings is different for every phone and also different for every country in the world. For us, it's called mobile network, but I know in the USA they call it cellular. So just go to that page in your settings where you can see the SIM cards and whatever you're using as mobile network. And if you go to the settings, then you see the SIM card secondary. And if you click on that one, you can also change the name of this one if you're a bit frustrated by the secondary. You can click on mobile, mobile plan label. This probably will also be different for many phones. And then we choose use sims. And here you go. And now let's go back. Just make sure that data roaming is off because with use sims, there are no roaming fees. Everywhere you travel, you're connected, but without the roaming hassle. And when this is all fixed, we are ready to use the eSIM. And now when you go to the USIMS app, you can see the purchase packages and we have there Europe and USA. And you can see how much MB or GB you have left, how much you have used and until when it's valid. And of course, when you're traveling in a country, it's handy when you just check this so now and then so that you're sure that you have enough MB left for that day. And if you think this is not enough, then you just buy a new package. We hope we provided all the information you need about eSIMS and the USIMS app. We really cannot imagine traveling anymore without an eSIM. It would really make our lives so much easier in Japan. And I'm sure in a few years we're all laughing about the time that we're using these physical SIM cards with this little tiny thingies to open it. And oh, it was such a hassle always. And now all that hassle is just gone. And you can just use an amazing app for all of your mobile data when you're traveling. We really hope that you enjoyed this video. And if you have any questions about eSIMS or the USIMS app, just post it in our comments. We are happy to answer. And we'll see you in the next one.